All right, so now let's take a look at schema registry for Amazon Event Bridge. So schema registry allows you to create, discover, and manage open API schemas for Event Bridge. And before we jump into it, let's just define what a schema is. A schema is an outline diagram or model, and schemas are often used to describe the structure of different types of data. So here um, we have an event, and 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 the structure is what we're storing. Okay, so Event Bridge will monitor these events. And they're going to put the structure into, uh, which is the schema, into their catalog. So there it is. So you can actually click into that schema. And now you can see that schema. And uh, you can view that schema and download the code bindings, which we'll talk about uh, here in a minute. But why would you want to use uh, a schema of events in your event, uh, event bridge event bus? So you can see if the structure has changed over time. So you can see that uh, the version has changed. So maybe you expect event data to be a very particular way, but then it's changed. Um, this makes it easier for developers. So if the developer needed to um, look at different versions, but another cool thing that you can do is you can actually export these schemas out so that you can use it with your code. Uh, so that's what code bindings are. So you can download code bindings for various languages, uh, and this makes it easier for developers to work with it, okay? And just to describe what a code binding is, a code binding is when the schema is wrapped in a programming object that is standardized uh, that standardizes how to work with the event data in, in the code, leading to fewer bugs uh, an easier discovery of data, okay? Uh, and just to explain how will we get those code bindings, well, AWS has this thing called the AWS Toolkit for VS Code. If you don't know VS Code, it's extremely popular um, uh, uh, code editor. I think like 80% of the market now uses it. I still use Vim, but that's me. And you can install extensions into VS Code, and that's how you'd install the AWS Toolkit. So I'd go into VS Code, install AWS Toolkit. AWS Toolkit does a lot of stuff, but it can do code, bind code bindings. For event, uh, for event bridge. And so what you do is you type in AWS and you connect your AWS account in VS Code. Then you're gonna get this nice little icon here uh, in your sidebar. And then when you click in there, you can you can drop down schemas and there they are. And you can view the schemas uh, right in there, okay? Uh, but you can also just download the code bindings. So there you go.